Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's video. After yesterday's video in which I made a card featuring a rainbow of colours, I thought I would do a colour a day for this week. So we'll have a red day, an orange day, yellow day, green, blue, indigo, violet, etc. I might throw in a gold day or a white day, a black day, maybe a craft colour day, we'll see. But I'm going to work my way through some colours this week and today's colour is red and this is the card I made. If you'd like to see how I did it then stick around because that's what's coming next. So the first thing I'm going to do is stamp and heat emboss my sentiment. So I've die cut a jig for this particular stamp and die set just out of cardstock. If you want to know more about jigs then check out the video that I'm going to link up there. And then I've cut the die cut out of smooth white cardstock and I'm going to line up my stamp so it fits perfectly on my die cut and I'm going to pick it up and then treat my die cut with some corn flour to get rid of any static and greasy fingerprints. Make sure that's all in the right place. Then I'm going to put some embossing ink on my stamp and stamp it onto my die cut. Now sometimes a die cut will stick to a stamp. So what I do to remove it is I just gently put my fingers on it to keep it steady. Then I grab a corner of it and then lift it directly up and that way I shouldn't smudge the ink. Next, I'm going to dip that in my gold embossing powder and then heat set it. There we go, a beautiful gold heat emboss sentiment. You can stamp and heat emboss and then die cut, but sometimes it's quite difficult to line up the die over the stamped image because you can't see through all the bits of the die. And also sometimes when you run metallic embossing powder through a die cutting machine, it can squish it and dull it a bit. So I prefer to die cut and then stamp and then heat emboss most of the time. I'm going to be working on a five and three quarter by five and three quarter smooth white cardstock card blank. And the next thing I want to do is cut a frame to go on my card blank. So I've taken another card blank, chopped it in half so I've got a panel here. And I want to position this frame die. So what this does is it cuts out a thin frame but you can also use it to make an aperture in a panel and I'm actually gonna do both today I'm gonna keep the frame because I'm thinking I'm gonna add it to the card but I also want an aperture here so I've got my guillotine and my frame and what I'm gonna do is trim down all four sides so that they are two centimeters deep. So this inner line here, I'm lining up with the two centimeter mark and trimming. So this bit here now will be two centimeters. And I'm gonna do the same here, and the same here and the same on the fourth side. So it is two centimeters all the way around. So there's our frame and it will sit on top of our card blank but we're not going to stick that down yet because the next thing I'm going to do is some smushing on a bit of mixed media paper and I just want to mark the edges here so I know which bit's going to be visible. Now I know I said this was going to be red day the red card but i'm actually going to use pink because when you smush with red it can look a bit like blood it looks like there's been a murder or at least a serious accident 
and I'm not a massive fan of red I prefer pinks so I'm going to use pink today so this is picked raspberry distress oxide and I'm going to add some water to it and mix it with my smusher if you want to know how to make a smusher there's a video linked above and down below and I'm going to start in the middle and just work out towards the edge giving it a little bit of smushing and splashing and I shall dry that actually no I'm going to run some paper towel over it to lighten it just roll that over like that so nothing gets smudged I'm going to blow dry that and then come in with the second layer so here's the second layer that gives a bit of depth and adds more energy and movement and now I'm going to find my paintbrush where did that go and I'm going to pick up this ink and splash it on so we've got some splashy marks and that is what's going to be visible through the aperture and while we're here I've got this heart stencil that's got tumbling hearts on it they're going all over the place so I'm going to pick up my picked raspberry and my blender brush and just do that so there are some hearts on top as well just for a little bit of interest in the background there we go I'm going to do this I think we'll do this tent fold we'll pop that there just for now and we'll pop that there Actually, I'm going to put some tape runner on the back. Again, we'll get that roughly where it's going to be. We'll lift it up. Come on, you. Come. There we go. And we'll pop that there. That'll do. Let me just get that on top just to see. Yep, that's about the right. So we'll squish that down. And then I can put this on. And I'm going to add this with craft foam. And this is the frame that I cut out when I cut this and I'm going to add that when I can pick it up on the inside but flat on the background so I just need some glue add a little bit of glue all the way around the edge this in here and just try and get it lined up nicely this isn't going to be a clean and simple card in the strictest sense of the words I think uh, there's not going to be an awful lot of white space on here but I think it's a fairly clean card in that even though there's mixed media it's all restrained within a nice frame and now I've got this little doily die and I've cut this doily from vellum. I'm going to pop that on there and that has the effect of muting down some of this background. And my sentiment's going to go on top, but I'm going to put that on craft foam. I'm going to shift that over to one side slightly and pop that about there slightly. I think we'll have it slightly down. I'm just sticking the sentiment onto the doily at the moment. But now that's down, I can put tape runner on the back of the doily where it will be hidden by the sentiment. 
and we can pop that in get my two square ruler get the birthday lined up and it's overhanging slightly over this frame so it makes it look like it all belongs together and to add some extra celebratory elements i've got this balloon die and i've cut it out of matte gold cardstock and layered it on a white die cut as well so it's two die cuts thick to give it a bit of extra dimension and i'm just going to pop some glue here there and everywhere clear some space and I'm going to pop that here and I can get it behind the, the doily it's in the way it keeps snagging it so I'm just popping that in there and some of it again is going to come outside onto this frame and for a bit of extra gloss and dimension I've got some white Nouveau drops here and I'm going to add those in a few places for a bit of extra interest and gloss so there we have it that's my card for today for red day in rainbow week i hope you've enjoyed the video and it's maybe given you some ideas of some of the things you can do with some of the things in your stash if it has do leave a thumbs up let me know in the comments and do come back tomorrow for orange day right then thanks for watching bye for now